Why do scientists believe the deep ocean might hold the key to life's origins? Let's dive into the discovery of dark oxygen and find out. Four kilometers beneath the Pacific Ocean, in a place where sunlight never reaches, scientists have discovered something incredible, dark oxygen. In the clarion clipperton zone, potato-shaped polymetallic nodules are producing oxygen without the help of sunlight. These metallic lumps, rich in cobalt, nickel, copper, and manganese, generate electricity, almost as much as an AA battery. Through a process called seawater electrolysis, this electrical charge splits seawater into hydrogen and oxygen. And all it takes is about 1.5 volts, just like an AA battery. This discovery challenges our previous understanding that only photosynthesis could produce oxygen. It opens up the possibility that complex life could have originated in places other than land. Imagine oxygenated habitats on ocean worlds like Enceladus and Europa. But that's not all. It could rewrite our understanding of how life began on Earth. Traditionally, we thought oxygen was first produced by cyanobacteria around 3 billion years ago. Now we have to rethink that timeline. And there's a twist, these nodules are targeted by mining companies for their metals. The research was partly funded by the Metals Company, which plans to start mining in the CCZ. This raises questions about the potential environmental impact of mining these oxygen-producing nodules. This discovery of dark oxygen could change everything we know about life on Earth and beyond. Stay curious, stay amazed.